Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a linear standard curve in Microsoft Excel. I got my Excel sheet opened and right over here, you can see I have some data for various water samples containing acetone in microgram per liter. In the column B is given the absorbance values for each of these samples. Right at the bottom, you can see we have a water sample without any acetone concentration but it does have some absorbance as well and this particular absorbance is called is background absorbance and below it you can see we have some absorbance values for two unknown samples and we have to calculate the amount of acetone in microgram per liter in these two samples so let's get to the video the first and the foremost step is to subtract this absorbance value from all these absorbance values and the values obtained so will be called as background corrected absorbance values. Let me put it over here. And just to do this, we'll insert is equal. Let's take the first sample minus the absorbance value for the sample without any acetone. Let's choose this one. And one more thing that we need to write over here is to insert a dollar sign before and after this cell B. I'm going to insert it by pressing shift and pressing on the other symbol on my keyboard and let me insert it after the B cell as well and there we are now press enter now the reason for inserting these dollar sign is to make this particular cell constant if we are not going to do this then using the drag function what Excel will do it will take the sequential values like if it is going to be C B1 it's going Next, it will take B2, B3, and so on. So in order to fix this, you must use these dollar signs so that this particular cell remain fixed. Press enter, and there we are. Now you can simply hold this green square and drag it down to make all the necessary corrections. Now let's extend this to these two values as well. Right over here, you can see we have got zero. This is simply because we are actually subtracting this particular value from the same value and if you are not going to get zero right over here this means that you have made some mistake now this is going to be our x value and this is going to be our corrected y value average absorbance i'm going to choose this particular one like this and then hold the control key and select these background corrected absorbance values you must make sure that you don't take the average absorbance value in this B column because they have not been corrected for the background absorbance. Next, we'll go to Insert Tab, and in the Chart section, you can see we have this option Scatter Chart. Choose this particular one, and uh, there we have our chart. Next, you can go to Chart Design, and on the left side, we have Add Chart Elements. Scroll down to go to Trend Line and click on Linear. We have a linear trend line inserted in our chart next you can double click on these trend line and we have format trend line option open scroll down and right at the bottom you can see we have some options like set intercept display question and chart and display r squared value on chart let me check this display r squared value on the chart and right over here you can see we have r squared value is equal to 0.9996 and let me check this display equation on chart as well and there we go you can see we have our equation displayed on our chart as well let me close it now you can see our chart gives us r squared value as well as the equation of the line y is equal to mx plus b which is depicted over here 0 0.0009x plus 0 0.0017 r squared value actually shows the correlation between x and y value R squared value is close to 1. This means there exists a strong correlation between X and Y value. And if R squared value is tilted towards 0, this indicates that there does not exist a strong correlation between X and Y value. And since in our case, R squared value is almost equal to 1, this means that there exists a strong correlation between the amount of acetone in water and the average absorbance value. Now let's find out the amount of acetone in unknown samples whose absorbance have been calculated as well as corrected for background absorbance as well. Since the value given over here are Y values and we already know the intercept value 
and similarly we have also calculated the slope of the line as well in order to find the amount of acetone in unknown samples we will rearrange this particular equation like this you can see our equation looks like this y is equal to 0.009x plus 0.0017 since we have already calculated the value of y over here now we will have to find out the value of x simply rearranging this equation like this bring this 0.0017 towards right the equation would become y minus 0.0017 is equal to 0.0009x now we have to find out the value of x so we can simply divide this particular right hand right hand side part by 0.009 in this way we can calculate the value of x let's do this in our excel sheet so we'll put is equal y minus 0.0017 this is y minus 0.0017 let's use the brackets to enclose it divided by 0 0.009 press enter and there we have the amount of acetone in our unknown sample simply drag it and there we can have it for the other sample as well and that's it for this video you can see we can create the linear standard curve in microsoft and using this we can calculate the unknown concentration using the equation of the line and that's it for today i hope you have found this tutorial useful please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching